So today, continuing on, what is vision? Uh, we're looking at Habakkuk chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 4, uh, where God tells him to uh, write the vision. But we want to find out what is vision? What, 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 what does that word vision mean? Uh, one definition for vision means a mental sight. Something that causes one to gaze at, to perceive, to contemplate, or to consider, to think about with pleasure. Uh, I want to say, make a point out of that. Understand that even though your, your vision is from God, the vision is from God, it's to you, but it's from God. And though you will be often attacked, uh, persistently persecuted, uh, sometimes in your mind or your soul, but uh, ultimately it should give you pleasure and delight to fulfill your God-given purpose and vision. Say that again. Even though your vision is from God, that vision and purpose of the Lord will be under attack. It will be under attack because, first of all, understand uh, that it is the vision of the Lord. It's the purpose of the Lord. It's God's uh, heart and desire by your purpose and the vision that's going to be birthed through you to bring somebody out of captivity, to help motivate someone else, to help deliver someone else, to help build up someone else, to be a blessing in someone, someone else's life, to empower someone else. To create a, 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 a stream of wealth or help or a soundness of mind or being for someone else. So it's going to be under attack by the enemy. So please uh, point that out in your mind. Uh, pinpoint that in your mind. Pin it in your mind somewhere that if you have a vision from the Lord, it's going to come under attack, under persecution. But I want to say this also to understand that the vision of the Lord, uh, it should be something <clears throat> that, that will make others look at. I, I, I want to also help you to understand that. It should be done in a manner of excellence. Uh, that which God uh, gives you a purpose, a vision for, it should be something that causes uh, others to gaze at, something that they see. Not only you look and you see, you gaze at it, but others should be should stop and consider and think about it with pleasure. What am I saying? That the purpose and the vision of the Lord uh, operating through you uh, is to give glory to God. So when they see you operating in what God has gifted you for, what God has given you, when you read your poem, when you uh, minister your message, when you sing your song, when you start your business, when you go uh, begin your education, whatever it is, we should make it purpose in our hearts. And I'm going to do it in such a manner that God will get the glory that when they're looking at me, they're going to lift their hands up and give glory to God. That they're going to it's going to be something that demands attention. Oh, yeah, your purpose and your vision should be done with such excellence uh, that it demands attention. It demands attention, not that they would demean it, but that they would give glory unto God. Secondly, a vision can be a dream. Uh, that word dream means to, to imagine as possible one's hopes and ideals. To imagine as possible one's hopes and ideals that, and, that are given and driven by God. Once again, uh, a vision can be a dream, uh, and that word dream means to imagine as possible the thing that you're hoping for uh, that's uh, connected to the ideal, which is given by God and driven by God. Understand there's a, there's a distinction between ideas and ideal. Uh, God has the ideal. He is the source. He's the beginning place of where the purpose and vision comes from. But uh, you in your imagination, you come up with ideas that uh, bring to pass the ideal of God, that represent and reflect the ideal of God. Uh, thirdly, uh, your vision can be a revelation. Your vision may come to you uh, as a revelation. It may be uh, this uh, the dis disclosing of God's desire and intent, his meaning, his purpose, his plan uh, of the past, present, or future that once was not known. So understand your vision and your purpose. Uh, God may disclose it to you by way of revelation. Uh, a, 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 a revelation revealing of God's desire, his intent, his meaning, his purpose, and plan of the past and present or future that once was not known, but he reveals it to you. It's something that God wants accomplished in his kingdom for his people. Understand that the king's heart is for his people. A just and right king, his heart is for the well-being of his people. And, and your purpose and your vision is an, ex, an extension, is an extension of the will and heart of God. That's why we always say all the glory and all the praise belongs to him because everything that I have, I think it was Paul uh, that asked uh, one of the um, 
uh, churches that he was ministering to that why do you act as if that uh, everything that you have, it wasn't given to you. You act as if you created yourself and as, as if it wasn't given to you. So we understand that everything that we have was given to us by God. Even though we're prospering and the, and the lights are on us and we're in the spotlight, we're on the billboard, they're seeing our name. But actually understand that my being raised up is actually to raise up God because when they raise me up, out of my mouth is going to come the will and the word of God. Uh, as I as I as I become blessed and empowered, whether it be financially or physically or, or mentally, it, it is all to give glory to God. God is going to get the glory because I'm pointing back to God. I'm pointing back to Him who gave it to me. That in Him that I live and move and have my being. That it, 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 I'm a I'm a sign. As my pastor would always say, that we're billboards, walking billboards for the Lord. So anything that's good that's happening in my life, God gets the praise. He gets the glory for it because it's to give glory to Him. Uh, understand that your vision will come to you by way of a uh, of a mental sight, something seen in your mind, a dream, uh, a revelation. And understand that revelation uh, will be an unlocking or an opening up of communication or manifestation. That revelation will be an unlocking. Understand, it's something that's revealed to you, but when you begin to walk in and use that which God reveals to you, it will operate as an unlocking to somebody else. It will operate as something that sets someone else free, whether in their mind, or uh, uh, whether it's something that they didn't quite understand, whether in their finances, whether in relationships. But when God gives you revelation, it's going to operate as an unlocking to somebody else. Somebody else is bound, waiting on the revelation, the vision that God is going to birth. And he's trying to birth through you. If he could just get you to come and fellowship with him and spend some time in his presence so he could show you the purpose and the intents of his heart for you. Fourthly, your vision will be revealed to you through an oracle or as an oracle. Uh, an oracle means uh, uh, the voice or, of knowledge, wisdom, direction, uh, warning, encouragement to a people, a nation or generation from their God through a chosen vessel. Let me say that again. God may use your vision. Your vision may come to you or through you or he may use you as an oracle which means the voice of knowledge, what God will, uh, either he will speak to you uh, oracle, oracle through, through, an, uh, uh, through a voice or, or through something seen in your mind or through a dream, but God will get his uh, message to you, his intent for your life. And it acts as an oracle, uh, the voice of knowledge, wisdom, direction, warning, or encouragement to a people, a nation, or generation from their God through a chosen vessel. So understand that your vision and your purpose will be revealed to you and through you in these types of ways. Something, a mental sight, uh, a dream. We, we, we know the story of Joseph, that God gave him a dream. And that dream uh, disclosed his future. And not only his future, uh, how God was going to elevate him. But remember that God raised Joseph up to preserve a people. Uh, to, to preserve God's chosen people. It wasn't that Joseph would be rich and he would be second un in command under Pharaoh. I mean, all of that was good and then it was useful. But the purpose of that was God raised them up to, 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 to preserve his people. When the famine came on the land, many, uh, many other uh, underlying meanings, but that main purpose to preserve his people. So God will raise you up to preserve someone else, to help someone else. Oh, yes, you get help. You get blessed in the meanwhile. But the motive and the, the sole purpose of it is that God is wants to operate through you, wants to operate through you. Understand the vision is entrusted to you. It, it is in response to a nation's need. We said that earlier, understand the vision or purpose that that God wants to get through you, whether it's a dance, somebody needs to be delivered. You know, some, not every person gets their breakthrough through the word of God, through a message. Some people get, get their delivered through, through a song or through a dance. Uh, uh, some people uh, are waiting on a job and you have that 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 occupation or that business that you're trying to start and, and, and but they're going to be hired by you you're going to you're going to assist them with their lifestyle and what they're living in and help them to provide for their family because of the business that you're getting ready to start you think it's for your wealth but God saying it's for somebody else's health oh yes God sees further than you God sees generationally down the line so your vision is going to be sent to a people and for a 